one's it's the follow up, but it's I mean really essentially spiritually it's a companion to the previous EP, which was Boo Sounds and Bad Man, and that's essentially what the theme was. This one that we're releasing now is called Love Notes and Obituaries, and uh, basically what it's about is, I mean, the fact that there's a really fine line between those two things in a lot of senses, you know. Something can start as a love note, before you know it, it's an obit. Um, so, obviously there's a lot of, you know, lost love, broken heart sort of themes, uh, but then there's a lot of really positive things about love in it as well. So this one's only four tracks and a couple of them are quite soft and that's I think something that people probably haven't heard from us mm. before or at least for a while. You know, me and Lola, my, my fiance, we've been together for five years, but um, I probably, I've never really written any songs about her. <laughs> um, and yeah, there's, I would say, um, there's, there's two on this one that are distinctly about her and that's, you know, yeah, that's, um, not to say that I didn't have positive things to think about love before, but it's definitely influenced it, yeah. yeah. Every, every person is different, every player is different. Um, I would say probably every single time that we change member, we change sound in some way. It may not be recognisable to a lay person, it's definitely recognisable to us. Um, you know, that'll be a, a noticeable difference between the, the two EPs that we've just done. You know, our guitar player that played lead on the last EP, he moved to Vietnam shortly after recording it. Um, so he didn't even get to see the release. Um, so this new one, he's not on it. You know, there's no one in place of him, but you know, he's definitely not there. And that's a, he had a very rockabilly way of playing guitar, which now isn't part of the song. So um, yeah, it definitely affects it. But, you know, we've, the guys that are in the band now, they've been there for two, three years. So there's still, um, there's still that backbone that is distinctly the sinners. Sort of any of the classic, I suppose, horror, like Mary Shelley, Bram Stoker, um, Charles Bukowski, not that he fits that bill, but... Uh, Charles Bukowski has been a massive influence on me as a writer. Um, you know, musically, Tom Waits, um, Springsteen, Chris Isaac, Screamin' Jay, Howlin' Wolf, anything with a little splash of magic in it. I think that we're probably one of the heavier options for Blues on Broad Beach. Um, you know, because we do take a lot of elements from punk. Uh, in the way that we play, even when we play straight electric blues, there's definitely that element in there. Um, so yeah, I'd say that we're probably, we're definitely more heavy and, and, and probably, you know, you're saying about the family friendly thing, we're probably more adult than some of the acts. But I think we'd slot in quite well. Really, I mean, we're all playing blues. Walking down the hall in the dead of night Going to my mama's room, I'm gonna pick a fight She never lets me out The weight of the knife heavy in my hand